Welcome to this Excel video. Simple and quick one today looking at hyperlinks. Very, very useful tool when you are building spreadsheets that may have a whole lot of stuff going on. You can create menus for your users that allow them to get around quickly. And also, if you are looking to have some interactive stuff within them, you can have links to websites and email addresses and so on if they need to be able to reference other material. So um, I'll get right into it. I've put some in place already. And as we can see here, I'll, I'll do the, the details of these in a second, but I'll just show you the process. So to hyperlink to a website, clicking that, and uh, I want a slow connection, so it takes a second to open up, takes you off to a website, click that one, takes you to an email address. You can see you can decide what's been uh, um, put in the subject line, hyperlink to a different place in the same file, so this goes to the second sheet, and cell A10, and you can hyperlink to another file as well. So this is a, a previous Excel video sheet that I made. So some pretty uh, good functionality. Uh, what these two images here are, these are just different ways to be able to hyperlink. You could put a hyperlink on a picture if you wanted to. So um, looks nice and pretty if you're making a menu. Anyhow, let's get into doing these. I'll just re-enter them. There we go. Okay, so if I click on the first one, website, and I right click and choose hyperlink, which is at the bottom there, basically this menu pops up and it gives us in the first and the left hand margin there four different options an existing file or web page, a place in the document to create a new document, or an email address. So I'm going to use a website first up. I'll just use Google because it's easier to remember than anything else. And you can change that. The text to display as well. So if I click OK, this now will take us to Google. Same process really for the email address. Choose hyperlink. Go down to email address. Type the address in, put a subject in, and click OK. And again, relatively simple, that just pops up. A place in this file is the one that I use the most. Right click, hyperlink, choose place in this document. Now what's good about this particular interface is that not only can you choose the sheet, so I'm going to choose sheet 3, cell A100. Takes you right there. But if we had a defined name, such as... I'll just make one here. That will appear in the possibilities as well. So if I edit that hyperlink, I can choose a defined name to go to. As you can see, it it goes to that selection. So in many of my spreadsheets, I've got a lot of defined names, and it can be a very helpful way to get around when you are doing uh, sort of control panel pages and menus. All right, another file, if we choose an existing file or web page, it basically brings you to a search wizard where you can find the form that you like. I'll just pick any old one, that one will do. And it opens that right up. So a pretty useful um, way to do things. What I would uh, like to show is that if you wanted to you can pretty much hyperlink from anything. So if I select this little picture that I've pasted in here, I can use that as a hyperlink. Uh, place in this document, sheet 2, cell B20. And there you go. What I often do is I insert shapes such as uh, some of these rectangles. There's one there. 
insert a text box on top. Put some text in there. And just format the shape to have no line and 100% transparency. Then this whole thing becomes uh, possible to hyperlink. I'll just, what I'd like to do is group so that it's all just one button now. Hyperlink, what did I say I wanted it to be? A25. So this whole button now is taking us to A25. So this is a really good way in conjunction with the pictures to make a uh, a menu screen look quite nice. So I'll just show you one. I've got one up here. It's not the one I wanted. Excuse me. So I've got one here as an example. Uh, this is just a, a little a sports injury tracker that uh, I might actually show in another video. But these four buttons down the side here on the right are just hyperlinks to different pages. If you want to go to the reports page, you click the hyperlink. So it's a good example of how you can make a menu page really simple and, and easy to interact with. Last thing I want to demonstrate is something just a little bit more complicated. And so what I've done here is I've just entered three different websites that I visit regularly. One is Google, one's a local newspaper of mine, and one is a website where you can do university courses for free. It's always a good site to look at. So I'm just going to use that to create a dynamic hyperlink. So firstly I'm just going to create a drop-down box using those three options. So we've done drop-down boxes before, so hopefully they're all familiar enough for you. So I can select which one of those three that I want and I can use a hyperlink function. Excuse my spelling there. Now if I click on this button it now hyperlinks to whichever site is in that cell. So there's the first one. And there's the other one, and so on. So it opens a new browsing window with the site that you look. So a pretty neat way to save you doing three separate hyperlinks, especially if you had a long list of websites. Simply choose what you want and hyperlink it. So I did mention that uh, you can use buttons or, or images to hyperlink. What I often do is just much more simple than that. I simply merge a whole bunch of cells, make it a certain colour, make the font a good size, and that's my hyperlink. So you can create menus in lots of different ways with these hyperlinks, but it's certainly very worthwhile. Neat way to be able to add a little bit of professional touch to your large spreadsheet. So again, thanks for stopping by. Let me know if you want a copy of this. Otherwise, get hyperlinking. See you later.